Hey guys, John Lear Sweet Pro here. <coughs> Welcome to this tutorial. <coughs> In this tutorial, <coughs> I'll be showing you how to add um, an external mod. Add a custom mod entry. So, first click on add slash manage external mods. <coughs> You'll see this screen. If you have not created any mods, if you already have, this text will say the name of your mod instead of just this. But since we're creating a new one, click on the first one. <clears throat> or the first, or if not, this first one, if you already entered one here, <clears throat> just any of these that are like this. Click on it. You'll see a screen to enter your mod's information. So I'll show you how you do that. Now go to, well, to get your mod's name, go to Game Banana. <clears throat> go to Game Banana and find a, find a mod you want to download. <clears throat> find a mod you want to download in here. <clears throat> Now I'm just going through my mods. <clears throat> I want Ender Dragon's basics. <clears throat> so, we'll just uh, copy and paste the name on the top. <clears throat> and I'll just remove, this will be a name of your mod in the entry. <clears throat> So, I'll just put in here, I'll be and paste it in the hair. <clears throat> Remove the version number at the end. <clears throat> Oz Creator. <clears throat> just put in the name of Mods Creator here. The zip file size. <clears throat> So first size, <clears throat> find one of these that has a zip. The dot raw ones will not work. So you need one for dot zip like this. <clears throat> Click on file info, scroll down to your dot zip one. This number here is your size in megabytes. <clears throat> Just uh, copy and paste it here. <clears throat> As for the release here, you just hover over this to see when the file was created. The year will be your release year. So this was made in 2019. So choose it. <clears throat> As for the Baldi game, this is what Baldi game it was created in. Most will be created in Baldi's Basics and Education. And this one was, so uh, select this one. <clears throat> for the version name, you can see version 1.0 is listed. This is the 1.0 version for the download URL. <clears throat> Hover over the file, click on copy link address, <clears throat> paste it in the here. <clears throat> for the mods download name, so will be a name of the zip file it creates after it's finished download. Just do the abbreviation of the mod's name. <clears throat> I'll just do <clears throat> Ender Dragons Basics. <clears throat> For the exe path, go back to that file, click on raw file list, find the one path with an exe, dot exe, like this. Copy it, paste it after this slash. <clears throat> this is where it will run your mod from. So it's important you enter all of this. <clears throat> hmm. So you know, just do that. <clears throat> Mod's description. This is the description of your mod. So I'll use a boy mod where 
you have to escape from the Minecraft Ender Dragon. <clears throat> Oh wait, and you played Minecraft with, you played Minecraft with Baldi, <clears throat> since if you know what the intro is like, you know what, I mean, <clears throat> as for the image, okay, it can be, an just find an image of your mod, <clears throat> No, you need to find an image of your mod with a PNG. <clears throat> it must be a ends with dot PNG. So there is not that there is not an image with a PNG on game in it. I'll just go to the mod on itch.io, copy the image from here instead, <clears throat> and paste it in here. See as a dot PNG. Alright, so you can see my custom mod entry. I finished entering everything in. So before you click create, make sure all of these are correct. So you uh, you won't get any so you won't get any errors <clears throat> when it downloads your files and when you want to play it. Oh now click on create external mod entry. <clears throat> now you'll see your custom mod entry here. And when you click on it, Everything you entered should appear like this. Just like a regular mod entry. Click on the info, download, you got your version. It will download it from that link you put. <clears throat> so let us download and play this great mod. Hang on the size of your, uh, size of the zip file. It will take either longer or less time to download depending on the size. <clears throat> so just wait until it finishes downloading and enjoy the nice quality music. <clears throat> so as you can see, my mod has finished downloading. Just click on it, <clears throat> click extract all, just extract it like you normally would to the mods for it. <clears throat> Wait until it's done extracting. Now you can go in here and make sure everything's, all the files are here. Delete the zip file. Go back in the mod launcher. You can see it means we downloaded it. Now when you click start, your mod will now you click start. Your custom you'll be able to play your custom mod that you entered. As you can see, it is working for me. It means I did everything right. I'm just gonna. I'm only gonna play a little bit of this. I'm gonna end the video. <laughs> Nice image here, how it spins. Let's fight the Ender Dragon. This is the best part. <laughs> Alright, Baldy, let's go and fight this Ender Dragon right now. Baldy, what's wrong? Oh no, I can't move. I'm paralyzed. No, boy! No, he did! Oh. So yeah, you can see it. Works great. Just type the correct answer into the empty box. Good one. This Rob, is good one. Not really. Rob, good one. I will avenge Baldi's death. <laughs> Problem one. <gasps> Great job. I can't believe it. You're in.
Oh, this actually does have a map. Pretty nice. I can see, see where everything is. Oh, but since this is the ore version, it has the eyes of glitch. So it doesn't show the whole text. If you're wondering, uh, in the fall version of 1.1, this mod will be included. Just when I was creating this video about entering this I had not added This is in too long, I'm gonna get it caught. Alright, so yeah, that is that is everything. That is all you need to do. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.